It's Tuesday the 29th of May and this is your EV News Daily. Well, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Wherever you're listening around the world, a very warm welcome from London in the UK. Here is today's news about electric cars and the future of transport. It's Martin Lee here and I go through every EV article online so you don't have to. Well, coming up on the show today, diesel is finished in Europe amongst a push for electric cars, says one person who should know, and BMW's wireless charging is available starting today. But first of all, we'll start with a follow-up to yesterday's story about the hyper-mild Tesla Model 3. Now, the attempt by Sean Mitchell and his hyper-miling buddy Eric Strait after covering 606.2 miles uh, using just 66 kilowatt hours at 110 watt hours per mile, they were able to relax and once again dream of driving a car over 30 miles an hour. (laughs) However, there is a sting in the tail of this story after trying to charge the Model 3 overnight at a supercharger. It is stubbornly refusing to take any charge. There is no bringing it back to life whatsoever. I gather the 12 volt battery uh, is still operational, but as for the main pack, nothing. Nada. It's dead. Well, the last I heard, it was being towed to a service centre, uh, which was closed on Sunday, but open on Monday. So I'm waiting for an update to hear about that. I imagine Model 3 experts, having seen this unfold on social media, will be waiting for it and be all over it. As much as Tesla loves that good publicity, they'll also be keen to understand what on earth has happened here and put out an explanation for it pretty quickly. Uh, I did mention on yesterday's podcast, by the way, it seemed a little strange to me that it only pulled 66 kilowatt hours uh, from the pack, which some say is 74, some say is 75, and one YouTube video, which took apart a Model 3 recently, uh, said was 80.5 kilowatt hours. Now, You want to keep some in reserve. You obviously can't drain the cells down to to empty. However, that's a lot of headroom from 66 kilowatt hours, even if it's the smallest 74 uh, in the Model 3 or 75 kilowatt hours. That's still a lot of energy to have in the pack that's not usable. Uh, also, I didn't realise the car was hired from Churro, which isn't really, is it? Is it Churro it's called, isn't it? It wasn't really a thing here in the UK. I think they have it in London, uh, maybe, as an app. But somebody is uh, renting out their Model 3 to anybody that wants to have a little play with it. Uh, the two guys say that the person they rented the Model 3 off did know it was going to be used for a world record attempt at hypermiling. Not particularly dangerous. They're driving the thing at 30 miles an hour or less. But you'd hate to rent your Model 3 out and then get the telephone call. Uh, Yeah, it's not charging. It's completely dead. Uh, We'll keep an eye on that story and update you tomorrow. Well, cost comparison for EVs with ICE cars has been a moving target over the years. Some say it's coming in 2020, some say it's going to come in 2025, but everyone agrees the moment that it happens is the moment the inflection point where EVs take off when they are cost comparative. However, Maybe that day has come sooner. Maybe that day is today. In several European countries, EVs are now cost competitive with traditional powertrains. The total cost of ownership gap is rapidly narrowing in Belgium and the UK, while EVs are already cheaper in Norway and the Netherlands. That's the conclusion of Lease Plan's most recent car cost index, the CCI. And I'd read this a little while ago, actually, that we were approaching it. Uh, So it's interesting that we're now there. Uh, Well, Frank Jacobs for Fleet Europe says the CCI is a comprehensive annual analysis of total cost of ownership. Uh, They use small to medium-sized car segments, B and C segments, in 21 countries. They add on taxes, they add on insurance, uh, fuel, maintenance, and the all-important, depreciation. Well, total cost of ownership of EVs varies greatly. In Hungary, it's £597 per month. In Italy, it's almost a thousand. Uh, Norway is the only country where TCO for an EV 670 euros per month is lower than petrol at 731 and diesel at 722. Well, time for another sighting of the Tesla semi-truck, which is putting in some miles by the look of it. The two that are on the roads are putting in some miles, not only for testing, but doing some real hard work as well. Uh, They're earning their uh, their lunch, aren't they, according to the rumours. Now, during a talk in the Netherlands a little while ago, the Tesla VP of truck programmes, Jerome Gillen, uh, said that Tesla's going to be the first customer for its own semi-trucks. We'll use our own trucks to carry cargo in the US between different facilities, between the assembly factory in California 
California and the battery factory in Nevada. Uh, we'll use our own truck to carry things in between. Now, Teslarati say the latest image of the Tesla Semi was shared by a Model 3 owner on the uh, Tesla Motors subreddit by the member AMG76, who said the picture was taken this past weekend. So they are still out there and they're still working them hard. Well, EVs could be getting an easier ride in Europe, partly because the sales of diesels are in free fall and people are very busy looking for alternatives at the moment. Somewhat of a self-inflicted problem with diesel, you could argue with Dieselgate and the ongoing stories that we hear about, uh, not just with Volkswagen. European Commissioner uh, Elsbieta Bienkowska said the EU, well, she's a commissioner for, the, for, for Europe, she said that the EU has had a breakthrough moment uh, since Volkswagen admitted uh, three years ago now about the cheat devices uh, on the uh, the US checks that were done, um, this deeply affected, uh, she says, the emotions in society towards emissions and cleaner cars. Diesels, or diesel cars, she says, are finished. And that's a quote. Uh, on May the 24th, this was an interview in her Brussels office. She said, I think within several years, they will completely disappear. It's technology of the past. Well, moving on, but staying with Volkswagen, and VW is opening three new factories in China with its local partner, the FAW Group, according to Bloomberg. Two of the new facilities are going to be in Tianjin and Foshan. VW said in an emailed statement it's opened one in uh, Qingdao on Monday, so yesterday. Uh, the, uh, the new factories are going to focus on bringing... Uh, more sport utility vehicles, but also more EVs into local production, uh, the fastest growing segment of the uh, Chinese market. The uh, is it uh, is it pronounced Qingdao or Qu uh, I don't know. Uh, my my Chinese is somewhat weak. Uh, the Qingdao factory opened with the introduction of the new Bora on the MQB platform, and it is producing battery systems. Well, today marks the market launch of BMW's highly anticipated wireless charging solution for high-performance cars. Uh, BMW's been talking about it for over a year in anticipation of the launch of their 530e high-performance model. Uh, the first production car available with wireless charging, says Nico, over at the BMW blog. The uh, system is now available for orders and allows customers to recharge their 530e and, in fact, all future plug-in hybrid models from BMW uh, by simply parking the car over the base pad. The BMW wireless charging option can be ordered as of today. Only as a leasing option, though, for the 530e iPerformance. Uh, it's going to start in Germany and then very quickly roll out to the UK, the US, Japan and China. Well, in response to the Tesla aficionado, that's what they're calling him, the aficionado, Ryan McCaffrey, uh, Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that the car will come with uh, sport-level brakes coupled with red calipers. This is according to Inverse. New brakes aren't the only cosmetic changes coming to the car. It'll be the first variant offered. Uh, with a white interior alongside the standard black, uh, as well as a carbon fibre spoiler and 20-inch performance wheels instead of the aero wheels offered on the base models. And by the way, uh, Ryan's Ride the Lightning Tesla podcast, always brilliant, and he had so many tweets from Elon in the last week, uh, what with him asking questions and, uh, and Elon getting onto Twitter, that it took about 30 or 40 minutes just to go through the ones that Elon <laughs> had sent to him, uh, and also talking about his, uh, his ordering and configuring of his, uh, configuring of his own Model 3. And finally, Inside EVs reports that the SK Innovation uh, company held a groundbreaking ceremony for its very first European lithium-ion battery factory in Hungary. Well, how long does it take to build a battery factory? Well, even though production is going to start as of this week, it won't produce any cells until early in 2020. The batteries are to be produced in the SK Battery Hungary factory, and they're going to be third-gen EV batteries. They're the kind of batteries that give about 500 kilometers of range on a single charge uh, for a typical size battery pack. Now, the company had announced in September as of last year, yes, it was, 
It would start mass producing the world's first medium to large NCM, that is nickel, cobalt, manganese pouches. Uh, SK Battery Hungary expects to start mass producing and supplying the batteries from early 2020 once all the production lines are installed and fully operational. It's going to reach 7.5 gigawatt hours of installed production per year. How about that? Well, how do you fancy helping me spread the word about electric cars? Let's share the podcast if you can with at least one person who might be listening. Uh, You can get every previous episode of the podcast on iTunes, on Google Play, Spotify, YouTube, TuneIn, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and the blog at evnewsdaily.com. Want to subscribe? You can do, which means you get them first and free and automatically. And if you can leave a little rate and review, or you can leave a comment on the YouTube page if you want to ask a question as well, uh, feel free to do that. On the socials, Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter, come and say hi by searching EV News Daily. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you tomorrow.